Melissa, this morning we are on the corner of John and Yale. You can see behind me that building. It is taped off. You can see road closed signs and this block is closed to everybody this morning on foot and in cars. So if you use this way to get up to East Lake, you can't right now. It is an inconvenience, but firefighters are worried about the safety of people who pass by this area after they say a fire last Wednesday compromised the stability here. We've uh, come back and assessed the building and, and found that it's showing some signs uh, that are indicators of collapse. It's already had some collapse on the inside of the building, uh, including a floor collapse that a uh, firefighter went uh, down on the floor of it collapsed. They were fortunately not injured. So back in June, Mayor Bruce Harrell fast-tracked a new law to speed up the demolition process for vacant buildings the city deems as dangerous, and the entire council approved it. It comes as vacant building fires in Seattle become more common for perspective here. We saw 77 vacant building fires back in 2021, 91 in 2022, and then 130 in 2023. And people who are sheltering in these vacant buildings are sometimes dying in these fires and they're forcing other people who live around these buildings to evacuate in one case earlier this year for several weeks they're using a lot of resources and like in today's instance blocking off streets so the latest numbers show seattle fire is inspecting 300 vacant properties monthly and 100 of those buildings are considered dangerous they think through this legislation 40 of them can be torn down this morning we know the owners of this building were told before that they needed to secure it so people wouldn't get inside. Now Seattle Fire is working with them to knock it down. We don't know exactly when that will happen this morning. We have reached out to Seattle Fire and are waiting their response. For now reporting live in Seattle, I'm Taylor Wingle, Fox 13 News.